Hey guys, I recently picked up this uh, 1 watt blue laser, 445 nanometer in the mail. And so right now I've already got negative. I'm using a, three AAA batteries to power it in a battery pack. And then I'm going to take my negative and power it, give power to my negative on the driver. There's already a driver attached to it. Um, and then I take both my positives. And I got this laser from, uh, where, where was it? Uh, DTR's laser shot. And so when I touch these two ends together, it works. So what I'm going to have to do now is solder on a switch. And I kind of wanted it to be um, a switch where I could press it down and it would stay on, but I'm not going to, I don't have that type of switch, so I'm just going to install my switch here, and oh crap, you're always going to need some heat shrink tubing, so there's no shorts or anything. Okay. I'm just going to go in. Hold on. So that is just going to go in just like this in that little tiny hole in the switch. Then you're going to take the wires and just wrap it around. And then add a little bit of solder to that connection. You don't have to, though. It should be just fine. With it on like that. Okay, so I got that one on. Then you're just going to take a little bit of heat shrink tubing and place it right over that. Might have to pull that up down a little bit. Get it to work. Okay. So, there we go. Now we're just going to take a little bit of, or a lighter, just kind of, don't go right into it, just kind of stay a little bit further away, just kind of melt it down. Okay, so that's good. Now we're going to take a little bit of some of this and we're going to place our heat shrink tubing over and then our wire is just going to go wrap right around. Okay, and then we're going to add solder to that connection. So before you add solder, you just want to see if it works. Okay, and that works. And now we can add our solder, and we should be good to go. Okay, now we can just go ahead and put our you shrink tubing over that, heat it up, ok, 
Okay, that should be good. Now we're done with this part. And now what we can do is put, you can put this anywhere you want, okay? It's really cool because there's also this switch here. They can, it's like a safety switch. So now when you press the button, it won't work either. So you have to turn this on and then it will work. So I'll show you that now. So now it's on. So when I press the button, it will work. Okay? But now when it's off and I press the button, it doesn't work. So you, this is like a little safety switch. So right now I'm going to have my safety switch off. And so it's all wired in a circle, negative, right to negative, positive to a switch, and then the other positive goes straight to this. So make sure that when you're wiring something that it always goes in a circle to cycle the whole thing. So the negative, straight to the negative, battery back, positive, straight to the switch, positive, straight to the diode or module. Um, so now I'm going to turn it on for you guys and we'll see if I can get this thing to burn. Oh, right when I turned it on right there. First, always make sure you have an eagle pair of glasses. These things are the best. I've got an orange time. And I'm going to put this on. Now we can burn some stuff. Okay, that's already smoking. And it's not even that focused. That's the thing. Okay, if I go there, now it's really smoking. So, if you guys want to see this cut, a cut, like a... electrical tape. You can watch that right here. And I'm going to get some electrical tape and cut it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is just cut this electrical tape. Actually, let's just show you right here. Okay, and that's, oh, still a little bit to go, but I have to get it real focused here. And then there you go. Rips apart. So, when I have this in a case, it'll be a lot easier to move both the switch and the module around. So that is how you make a laser that's powerful. It's that simple. Now if you want to put your laser into like a like a um um little case or hold a laser holder um or a host you can check out my video on how you can make this type of laser right here this is one of my smallest lasers that I've made so far it was one of my funnest too to OSRAM laser um, so you see that you can see the beam in pretty much daylight it's hard to see on film but you can see it and that's just in this tiny, tiny little airsoft um, flashlight holder. So yeah, you can't really see the beam, but now this laser, my newest one, just made it. 
And then I've also got two others. Got these two Altoids lasers. This one is the same as this. This, la this laser is the same as the one I just showed you how to make. So I'll show you that. Okay. And, but, uh, and then I've also made this one. This one's not powerful at all. Really. It's just a purple laser. Um, when you shine this one outside, when you shine the one I just showed you how to make and this one outside, it look it's actually kind of purplish. It's not as blue. Um, it's not as blue, but this Ozram PL450B, um, this one is actually blue like all the time. This is a 450 nanometer. It's blue like all the time. You can see the beam there. You can see it right there. Okay. And this thing can burn too. And I'll show you. Okay, I'm going to burn some electrical tape real quick. And I'll show you a little burning thing since you didn't really see any um, in this video that much. Okay, so this is the PL450B. It puts out about 150 milliwatts. Okay, I'm going to put on my goggles. Okay, I'm gonna have to find I guess this one can't really I mean it can, but I know it can. Yeah, this one's more of a beam shot. Can't really burn as well. But, I mean, it still can burn. I know it can, but I don't have it really focused that much. And I'll show you it burning right now, actually, just to prove. Okay, I don't know if you can see the smoke, but it is smoking. I just need to get it to where it's focused perfectly. It was burning a lot better. Oh well. Okay, there's smoke. It is smoking, but it's not really burning as well. So, thanks for watching. I'm sorry that this was such a long video. Wanted to make it informative and just kind of cool. So I hope I accomplished what I wanted to. And these are all the lasers I've made, and I just made this one for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, wait. Sorry.